What's up guys, my name is Josh Valor and we are gonna be talking about T50 mods. Today we're talking about three and the 300-ish dollar price tag being the Cascadia Audio Talos 2, the ZMF Classics, and of course, the Mod House Argons. I have reviewed all of these in their own individual reviews. If you want a little bit more context to this comparison, I highly recommend checking those out. Link is in the description down below. These come in about the same price tag, so I'm gonna kind of loop them into that $300 category. The Talos is actually being the most expensive of the bunch, being $325. The ZMF Classics are coming in at $300 and the Argons are coming just shy of that at $295. Now, I'm gonna kinda handle this like I do with a normal review, which is gonna be build quality, uh, the power requirements that you need to power it, that's what this is here for, and then of course the sound characteristics and then my conclusion. So the build quality is relatively the same, but because the mods that they offer, the different pads, headbands, etc., I have a few things to note about build and comfort. So let's go ahead and start off with the least comfortable of this group actually being the ZMF Classics. Um, the headband structure on here that they've chosen to go with, specifically like the leather, it's very thick and it's very hard. That matched with pads that are actually very, very well made. Now, in fact, I like these pads a lot. They're just not as comfortable as these two. Now, the most comfortable headband here is actually the Argon. Uh, the Argon's kind of, I think this is a, a deer skin. Uh, they also have Alcantara options. That is a super pliable, super well-chosen material for the top of your head, and it really distributes the weight really, really nicely, whereas I feel like the ZMF one still has a little bit of a hot spot right on top, which is kind of the big issue and the big reason why you'd want to get a kind of aftermarket head strap in the first place. Um, and then with the Cascadia Audio, uh, the headband structure, it's okay. It's pretty nice. It's just not quite as premium feeling and as comfortable as the actual Argon. Now, power requirements. This part actually surprised me a little bit. So I've been powering them off of a number, amp a number of amplifiers being the Jotunheim, the Aeon X7S, the THX789, and most importantly, because everybody says you need a ridiculously powerful amplifier, I got a ridiculously powerful amplifier here which is the Emotiva A100. Basically, I stuck the jumpers in there, so we're getting 50 watts of speaker amplification out of the quarter inch in the front. Judged with plenty of power and plenty of variety in terms of amplifiers. Uh, the one that requires the least amount of power is actually the Modhouse Argon. Um, this I was able to power off of the THX's single-ended three watt amplifier um, very, very nicely. And then right in the middle of the two in terms of efficiency, you've got the Talos. It's, it's kind of medium in the middle and the ZMF Classics here are ridiculously difficult to drive. Like probably the second most hard to drive headphone I think I've had here. <sighs> this is such a ridiculous amplifier. Okay, so <laughs> sound quality. Uh, let's talk about sound and I've kind of displayed them here to be a little bit about how they sound. So we go from super bright and clinical over on this end to middle of the road comparatively at least, to uh, a very relatively dark sound signature. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into each aspect being treble, but mid-range bass response, imaging and soundstage, and talk about the comparative aspects between all of these. So right out the gate, uh, I don't like the Talos very much. It's a very, very bright headphone, but in terms of brightness, the Talos, and this actually ruins the entire headphone for me, is an extremely bright headphone and I couldn't get the, the highs to really cool down. I had to like EQ the crap out of it to make it manageable. Now the ZMF has kind of uh, still occasionally bright treble response, but it was much less often. But for most music, I think that the treble resolution, comparatively of course, and the, the brightness of that treble was more than manageable on this headphone. Now the Modhouse Argon, it, it lacks a little bit of the detail that comes on the ZMF Classics. The Classics, yes, they can get a little bit hot, but this recesses the treble to a degree that I still find personally pleasing, but I would say that in terms of technicality of detail retrieval, the ZMF Classics speed out the Argon just a little bit, although me personally, and of course this is gonna change person to person, and I am a little bit treble sensitive, so keep that in mind, uh, I prefer the sound of the Argon's treble just for technicality reasons, I have to give it to the classics. So mid-range, uh, like I said in kind of the intro to sound, uh, the mid-range of the Talos is relatively recessed. 
Um, I don't really like the performance of this headphone in many areas. Um, it's got a few good attributes, but overall, I'm a little bit disappointed with the Talos. So, you know, I'm gonna run through it in the comparison, of course, because it's just part of the process, but there's no part of this headphone that I recommend over to either of the other headphones. So it's pretty much kind of like the, the rejected kid in the corner. Sorry. So the so the mid-range, it's a very clean sounding mid-range and in the right song that doesn't have any trouble at all, it can sound very, very good. But for certain songs, I mean like out of my random playlist, I have to skip four out of every five songs to really find one that I like. Now mid-range performance is actually the best on the ZMF Classics. Uh, it's the most tonally correct. It's a very clean sounding uh, mid-range. Vocals and instruments in that mid-range come across very forward. And presentation is another thing we're gonna talk about in Image Against Soundstage. And I'm gonna kind of spoil that a little bit. Of these three, this is the most intimate sounding headphone here. And one of the things that benefits the vocals here is gonna be that treble response being slightly crispier, slightly brighter, because I, I, I felt like it just finished off the vocals with a little bit of kind of added uh, refinement to them. And that coupled with the kind of intimate delivery that this headphone has over the other made vocals very, very, uh, well, honestly quite good. I really like them. The Argon is definitely not bad by any means. The Argon is a very, very uh, good vocally based headphone. The mid range for instruments is very, very good. It is slightly saturated towards the warmer side of things, towards the darker side. It does have a little bit more girth, a little bit more body to the vocals. And overall, you're gonna be talking about a warmer vocal, warmer mid-range performance on the Argon. Now, personal preference, again, is gonna play in here. I prefer the sound of the Argon, but from a technical standpoint, the ZMF Classic might be a little bit better. So bass response, a little bit dry here. Um, pretty respectable bass response, although not a massive amount. Um, the bass response on this has one of the most strange characteristics, and I'm gonna try and explain it. I explain it this way every time. I'm not sure how many people understand it, uh, but it's the only way that I can really explain it that makes sense. The way that the Argon sounds to me is like looking up at the night sky, right? So even though you're looking at a dark picture, the sky is still clear. You can still see the little spots of treble and the little stars up at night and everything is peeking through and nothing is being veiled over, even though you're looking at an over dark, or an a, a overall darker picture. That's exactly what this headphone sounds like. So you're getting the mid range, the vocals, the treble response, the imaging and the sound stage. It's all coming through despite there being this, this really impressive amount of mid bass and sub bass. So for bass response, I'm sure it's not the most accurate measuring headphone of these three, but holy crap, is it the most enjoyable for bass response. I mean, if you are a bass head in any capacity, the Argons is something that you should own at least one time in your life because it doesn't do bass like anything I've ever heard on any headphone. So to wrap up the treble, mid-range, and bass response, uh, treble and mid-range are gonna go to the CMF Classic and the bass response is going to go to the Argon and uh, the Talos is, you know, um, Anyway, so uh, the imaging and sound stage is where things start to get a little bit different. Um, imaging is very, very good across the board, actually. Imaging here is, is going to be strong points of all three of these mods. I don't consider any one's imaging to be significantly superior to any of the other ones. Sound stage, though, is where things really start to separate and pull apart. And we kind of have two different representations of sound stage here. We've got the Argons over here and the Talos and the ZMF Classics. Now, what do I mean? Uh, the ZMF Classics and the Talos have similar sound staging capabilities and similar sound stage approach and feel to them. So with these two headphones, what you're getting is you're getting a great center image in the center of your head, this being a little bit more focused in terms of the vocals and mid range than uh, the slight recession of the Talos, but still pretty center of your head. And then you're getting sounds that are pretty much from the center to the far right, and then center to the far left. Uh, total width is approximately the same on both, but it's kind of like this line of sound that's passing through your head. That is completely different than what I experience on the Argon. With the Modhouse Argon, you're getting kind of this, this box or this globe of sound around your head, and sounds come from from very far in front of you, all the way in back to kind of upper right and 
sounds can pass over your head. It's the strangest like imaging and soundstage experience. And even though it's different and it's not like a normal soundstage representation, it is so, so enjoyable. And I feel like you get like this really, really accurate performance, especially if you're playing games or watching movies, the, the locatability, the distance factor is so easy to pick up on, on the Argon. Uh, and yet it gets just as wide on the far right and far left as these other two. So for imaging and soundstage, imaging I'm gonna give a three-way toss-up and soundstage representation room, environmental information, 100% I'm gonna give to the Mod House Argon. And that is really what separates this headphone from these other two. You know, tonally the ZMF Classic may be a better headphone. Uh, I don't recommend the Talos 2 for anything. Sorry, Cascadia Audio. Um, and uh, hopefully the, the very nice gentleman who does choose to stay anonymous doesn't really, really love these because they're just not really something I like, but at least we have that, that baseline and that reference now. So these are gonna be kind of like the middle of the road, the even performer. These are gonna be something that I, I, I don't recommend unless you, you fit very specific circumstances and you've heard this, this is 100% a headphone that I would say, go listen to before you buy it, please. Kind of like the HG800. Uh, you may like it, it's just, it's not my cup of tea. Obviously somebody likes it, but it ain't me. The ZMF Classic, I could recommend to somebody. Um, I do have reservations about how it stacks up against the rest of the market in general, not even talking about T50 mods. And for certain aspects of technicality, so does the Argon. But with the Argon, it has things that are just so impressive or strange or different about them that makes them, it just, it does things that no other headphone that I have tried has done. Doesn't mean it's the best headphone that I've ever tried or anything like that, but between these three, this is definitely the most unique. And if I were gonna buy any one, I would pick the Argons, but the ZMF Classic is also a good headphone, uh, and I, I don't recommend the, uh, the, the Talos. Thank you very much to the gentleman who sent out the Classics, as well as the Talos for a review and a comparison video. It was a lot of fun. I will have a couple more T50 mods coming up, being the Ori and the Blackwood. And another special thank you to those of you who continue to support making this channel happen, which is the patrons. You guys rock. And until the next video, guys, my name is Josh, signing off.